Hey guys, welcome back to the uh, premium rundown. I was a, uh, you know, same positions as we uh, did for the standard format. Uh, oh, yeah. Do you want to state it this time? Because you know, forgot in the beginning. Royal Paladin, uh, blaster, blaster turner, basically blaster blade turner turbo kind of thing. Yeah. Okay. So I was playing Orange Twa, and like I said earlier, I legitimately lost every dice roll. Like I said to you, like on the other video, on the standard one. So like. Yeah, we'll tell you about the matchups in a little bit. Aaron, what about you? And I played GTV. Uh, as easy as? <laughs> as easy as. One, two, one, two three. Oh, I've got to mention. I've got to three. mention. This would be fun for all of us. That's been a meme. My orange decklist name was. Oh no, me orange. And it was Force Two Edition. I had I had the name set. I've done yeah. loads of processing for premium. Oh, That's the what, thing. What was, uh, what was, uh, I think mine was called Awakening of Twin Swords. Something yeah. like that. Awakening yeah. of Twin Swords. So basically, my name was easy. That, that joke was because if you know set 5, it would be tier 5, when Machador Blaster came out, it was called Awakening of Twin Blades. And obviously it's because like, you know, Blaster Blade, Blaster Dark kind of combined. And obviously Twin Swords what we got, so I was just really doing a little joke on that. Awakening yeah. of Twin Swords. Yeah. yeah, Twin Sword lost me game for <laughs> okay. no, He actually didn't play it. Alright, so on to our matchups. We'll start with Connor again. Yeah, okay, right, well, there's a difference. Uh, I won my first round. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, it was Nubatama, uh, it's a discard turbo effectively. And what's the best thing you can do against discard turbo? Open with a hand that is called God. And <laughs> go, f go first, and go. And I just go first, and I'm like, okay, ride, it's fine, swing. It's fine, you know, I'm alright with this. And then suddenly I just go, I'm going first, mate. But yeah. Ride Monarch. Tana, Tana. Boom, boom. I just get three force markers out, get Blast Blade out of the soul. Um, and then I, I slap um, Blast Blade over the force markers. And then he's, uh, so Monarch using its skill gives it, makes it 28k of a crit. I have two, a Flogel there behind it, and a Flogel behind. Um, uh, Blaster Blade, which I got from Blaster Javelin, which Elrond, my starter, used to get Blaster Javelin. And then I called Pack off from hand, got back my 2CB, and then just went ham. He took all the damage, he kept taking damage until he got to, um, he took Monarch as well, got into 4 damage. And I also got a crit trigger all on Blaster Blade, and it just went ham. And he couldn't guard it. He actually discarded. You won the four strides. <laughs> I, I actually won whilst he was on. Um, so he actually did get the grave three. But so I didn't kill him on that exact turn. So he went to grade three and then he's like dominate and I'm like, okay. And I'm like, Gancelot. So he killed Blast Blade. And I went Gancelot and I just went crit. And quad drive three crit as well. Alright, cool, that's for my game. Pretty much. We were in the playtesting I did before. I named like ten decks I thought I'd potentially go against because metal, you know. And I played against, tends to get nine of them. The only one I didn't play test against, because none of our friends had it, was Katrina Neo Nectar. And I played against it round one. So we did the dice roll. It's, uh, I knew roughly what to do against it, because uh, I think I did some research online. I was the only research I had. So I we um, did what I usually do, my iron scenarios. Mm -hmm. I played the resource game with Shizuku Stride, um, got like 15 card hand. So it was the same with the Neon Expert. Apparently they can, they can get loads of energy out of them as well and just go, they can rush, make loads of plant tokens. And I, I thought Katrina got quit, but apparently didn't. Yeah, so I was like, so Katrina Stride, you just keep get going in. So they had a big hand, I had a big hand. It was a resource game. Got to a point where it went to time and around, I was like, oh no. Um, the problem was, though, this guy kept healing and I didn't. Mine was still in my deck. So like... I legitimately had to like try some strat here, so um, I got to the point where my deck got thinned out as well. Went on my TR turn. It got to the point where I got to my TR turn. Um, about to do my attack. Um, he was thinking about it a little bit. The thing is, this guy kept looking at his watch, like, oh, look at my watch. Was like, yeah, he was. Uh, yeah, yeah, pretty much, yeah. He so, was sneakily looking at it. We, we, I actually noticed he was sneakily looking at his watch by checking his hand and his uh, and his drop zone, yeah, kind of was, like watching the time. Yeah, 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 let me look at it. So he, he kept doing that, and then like. He had, he was looking at his hand and then decided if he wanted to guard it or not. He goes, please free pass, please free pass. I had a gut feeling I knew what my triggers were. So um, he decided to no pass it. And as, as, has he decided, because he, I swear he looked at the judge. I looked at the judge about to come towards me and he said, I always got crit power, crit power. There was a v, the new V crits, by the way. And I was about to do my five, third drive check. The judge comes over and goes, stop the game. Stop playing. Stop yeah, playing and I went quit power. And I'm like, 
Okay. Yeah. I, I could have won if the it guy decided yeah. to free pass it because naturally he would, would yeah. free pass it. Unfortunately, it was the last because his opponent was on four damage and you're on. Three. Yeah, I'm, I was on three. Yeah, but like the hand, pretty much the hand. Um, yeah. Wanna wanna know something? Because in fact, uh, he had four. So uh, his opponent had four cards left in deck. You had probably more than that. Yeah. And yeah. with Tawara putting uh, cards uh, back into his deck. Matt would have actually won because if, yeah. to, if time was there, uh, the Katrina guy would have like swung Vanguard. If Matt survived, legit, all he left to do is end. Apparently, at the end of his game, his hand was pretty weak. So basically, all he had to do was do a couple more attacks, and I would have won the game straight up yeah. because he went free pass. So naturally, I would have put everything either on the TR restart or the um, the Lucilli with the Layla, the crit Layla. So that was pretty much it. Yeah, like I can't do much about it. It the was the clang's just really strong. It's underrated, and people were saying, "Oh, the index is not that good anymore." But it's it's really it's really gotten good, and yeah, it it's just there. Like it's yeah. just uh, mm. yeah, that yeah. was an unfortunate loss. Yeah, anyway, that's, uh, yeah, I lost obviously. Yeah, um, Sadly. Your my matchup. first was Aquaforce. First time I'd ever gone against it in premium. Um, he was. It was a really kind of a, a, a very quick game for me. Um, uh, he was just slamming me with high numbers um, uh, and constantly. I had no no idea how to guard. Um, I couldn't even <laughs> I couldn't even hex throw because I had no heal triggers at at all in that game. Um, and I actually kind of got lost with that one. Nah, that sucks. Yeah. Round two. So, round two. Yep. Uh, so what was that? A win uh, against Luard for me. Um, there's this thing called flow ball, and then this thing also called a critical trigger. Yeah, yeah and you always realise that, don't you? Yeah, pretty much. <laughs> I, I go, I, no, literally, I was on. I literally just went, okay, it's fine, mate, deal me damage. And I'm like just setting up, going first. Um, and yeah, I just basically just went flow ball. And then what. So what was. Uh, so after that didn't kill him, but I got him down to five. Mm. And then. Suddenly he's like, okay, cool, I'm gonna first drive more Fessa, and he threw down a bunch of grade ones, killing them off just to get ritual 10. And he didn't, he only had one of a rear guard. His, it, it, being whip tail, his exact thing was swing. Slap tail, I thought it was grade two. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I thought it was whip tail. Oh, it doesn't. Slap tail, okay, okay. grade two, counts as grade one. Um, yeah, that one. Yeah. That one. And then he, he swings with more Fessa, and I'm like, Elaine, PG from deck, guard. And he went, looked at me, he's like, you serious? I'm like, yeah. So then I, I yeah, because yeah, it can get over the, um, the small fester strat because yeah. it's G guard, it goes into it. That was a, it was um, a bit of a flex there, but it's, I kind of told him to run four the old yeah, PG. Yeah, you did. You just said it was like get rid of lane at the end, run four uh, PG, and it was like actually been it was actually solid, solid all day. Yeah. And the thing is, is what what was really fun about it was is that as I guard that, I just got a person. Yeah, it's fine. He then just drive checks nothing. Uh, he got a, he got a curse raven, but he he just restarted. It. It, it did nothing, I was like, took damage, um, but because of my, oh no, uh, yeah, I did that, and then I went for the Twin Sword, uh, and then Twin Sword just made big, big columns, I killed him. Okay. Eight attacks, by the way. Cool, that's for my game. Well, I was in seat two for a reason. I wanted to avoid the mirror match, the Bermuda mirror match, and guess what happened? Yep. First of all, I ended up getting the mirror match. So I looked at myself, I was like, please win the dice roll. Loses the dice roll. And then the opponent proceeds the G assist on his grade two turn, I think it was, or something like that. I can't remember, I think it was grade two turn. He whiffed it, so I was like, yes. So I'm just there like, okay, grade three turn. Twa? Do the, do the combo? Yeah, I'm now going ahead of him. Yay, I'm the mooder, guys. So I did that. Attack with him, did the usual stuff. He had a weak turn afterwards. Because now, now I'm gaining control of the game because I'm the one who does the stuff before he does. The Bermuda sh usual shenanigans that they play. And then I, as soon as I got into my stride turn, went into Shizuku stride, started filtering my deck, got the great foods I needed to my hand, filtered more Shizuku's and all the other bits, made a board, made an, a suboptimal board, started attacking. And then on my drive track, um, and before drive track, he legitimately thought, okay, because well, Shizuku skill legitimately just, yeah. Shizuku skill legitimately just says, um, if you um, if you reveal Shizuku's from your hand, um, for each Shizuku you have plus 5k power to the Shizuku um, stride, and um, for each grade you can't go with that 
grade. So basically, he's on grade, he's on grade, he's on grade two at this point. So he can't G guard, can't guard grade zeros, can't guard grade ones. So all he could do is nothing. So I just go, okay, he has to no guard it. So I go, crit, crit. I didn't even have to reveal my last trigger. And then I got nothing. And then so it was fine, put him straight to six, killed him. Uh, but won the mill match. It seems like the, um, it was the same as the last BCS I went to last year at Dark Spear in London. Um, I had three orange mill matches almost in a row to be fair. I won them all. That's why none of them got top eight because I was the only orange player who got um, near enough to top eight. But we didn't. We got like I bubbled out X2. Um, a really short art to explain it. Like Royals and Spikes were my only losses because Connolly was either in my damage zone or like, it was either in my hand or they had CB. So I pretty much couldn't do anything against any of those matchups. So that was this is the quick guide on of the one before that. So yeah, had me a match. Luckily, I won again. So Bermuda comes to me again. Yes. It and does. that was my matchup. So what was your matchup? Mine was, mm. let's just say, anime 101. It was Gizeh. <laughs> yes, I actually had one of the very few Gizeh decks that were actually running around. Um, I knew of uh, one, uh, two at least, and I actually got one. Um, it was a pretty solid, uh, pretty solid start. Um, they were doing all their shenanigans, getting oh, their, yeah, getting their, um, uh, getting all their uh, Zerf dragons off. Um, did you mention what vote and Gizeh was it? It was Angel Gizeh actually. Yeah, uh, yeah. Um, they were getting all their uh, all their Zerfs out. Um, uh, I uh, I strode into Pegasus, did a massive resource turn, ended up with three PGs and two heal and three heal triggers in my hand, which I absolutely needed for the following turn. Um, uh, I got a, got a decent amount of damage. They drop Gize. I go into my I, I go into my my first uh, my my turn going. Uh, I dropped the PG for the first attack. Heal tree, double double heal, dropping both Ilishizus for the two rare cards, which is so simple. Um, goes into Heritage. Uh, I stupidly did. Dumbest misplay I could. I used skills on my first turn of heritage, meaning I had nothing for my second. And yeah, we watched I, you I, doing yeah, that as well. It's, I I I made. I knew I'd made a mistake as soon as I went into the second turn. I was like, oh shit, I can't do anything here. I just I did as much as I could, um, but in the end, I lost lost out to Gizeh's skill when they started their turn. Six damage to the six damage due to the skill. He, uh, even though he still cheated. I didn't cheat. Oh, you actually did. No, I actually looked at the ruling. You know, sheep. Yeah, we we we, we we were discussing this. You couldn't actually sheep. So you wait, you see, you sheep, but you used it on your second heritage turn. You can't. No, I replaced sheep with sheep. He didn't. No, I saw you. No, I on my second turn. I, I, I replaced actually sheep remember. With I was sheep. actually come talking to you at the time. I saw you with the first sheep. Yeah, I replaced the sheep with a second sheep on my second turn of Either way, it doesn't matter. Let's go next round. Yeah, so, sure. round three. Okay, round I swear three. I got annoyed, oh, no. actually, to be fair. Oh, yeah, nubs again. Um, <laughs> nubs. <laughs> <laughs> that's how it's called now. Yeah. Well, yeah, <laughs> it's nubs. what it says. <laughs> nubs. nubs. Let's keep it going. Nubs Thomas. <laughs> nubs Thomas. Okay, so this is a thing called Discard Turbo. And, um, you mentioned this earlier. Yeah. Yeah, do you know, do you know what... Um, <laughs> I, I've made someone, I've never seen someone so salty in my life. Okay, so he's like, it's fine, I'm against a royal player, and I'm going to stay grade 2, and I'm like, I could Tarna you. But like, my Tarna was too happy having a nice bath in the damage zone. Fuck it, Sabreeze, <laughs> let's go boys. So you I go to oh, him. Oh, I'm going to I Sabreeze him. him. Wow. Thanks. And I, I basically just went slamming, uh, I got one crit and I got some other hand just slammed them all with rear guard slamming in yeah, attacking which is fine uh, I had um, anyway so it was alright but then I G guard next turn set up uh, for ultima and then just ultima him and take him from 2 damage to 5 damage and left him I wait while May failed he legit had no hand he he had to um, so he actually um, he had rode, um, what do you call it, the, the chicken, so he basically that's why he great sword, he rode the chicken, and then he drove check the Koji Kiri Kongo or whatever it's called. Yeah, the mm. 
and he was forced to discard it for stride. Wow. Because he had to, because he had to stride and Rene. I call down Monarch and Blast Blade, and then I just survive. And then I'm like, ah, that's cool. Ride Monarch, boom, C1, so Blast 1, get back a Blaster Blade. Then call down Flogel. Um, I couldn't even use the Flogel because I you know, had no damage that I could use. It's fine, I just crit him out of the game anyway. And I said, did any, I said, did any of that stuff actually help me? He goes, no, man, it's because I rode KFC. But he actually said rode chicken. He was so salty. They dropped out after, I think. And did they drop out after? I think they dropped out because I never saw him after the event. Uh, okay, the venue, so that's yeah. for my matchup. Yep, I mentioned Kryptonite Standard for OTT. I have just personal hatred towards it, to be fair. So I ended up going against it, he flipped the Vanguard up. I, yeah, he had Masonic Lord Blast to sleep, so he trolled me. So, like, <laughs> <laughs> legitimately, I started the game. Okay, OTT, I know what to do against this. I'm going to have to rush him or I'm pretty much dead because, you know, the new Ikakashima can be much safe. You can't go with nothing because the autopilot deck is just a, it's really degenerate deck. So, <laughs> yeah, I legitimately, I started, shush, I started rushing him <laughs> and pretty much got him to, like, I think, yeah, he's like Gardner, I think he got smart. Um, because later along down the, lo the, long down the road, I got the first stride turn. Um, I uh, can't remember what stride I was on, but all I do know is that I... Oh, that was it, yeah. I, I somehow got into a tiara turn, that was it. So, and it was a restander as well, that's how I know. Because my drive check was... Because he knew Gardner. Drive check was <laughs> legitimately... <coughs> crit, 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 restand, crit. And guess what? He survived, yeah, he survived and healed out of it. So, what happened was, okay, cool, he takes his next turn, he does, um, he had a lo really low hand. He used the, the startup where much says, it's like painful choice in Yu-Gi-Oh, I swear. You pick three cards, you choose one of the cards that's on the hand, two goes drops down, one goes to hand. I swear you not, all three of the cards were silent toms. So I had to choose a silent tom. So silent tom goes to hand, he had no one in hand, threw them both down, okay cool, he got the Kashima skill, went off. Um, you can't guard PGs, had no G guards in my hand. Ooh, yes. yeah, that was that was what I needed by the way. I had loads of, I had loads of triggers so I could guard with stuff. So it was the and new it, 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 Yeah, new the new one, yeah. Okay. So new I went and thought about it with my opponent, I was like, hmm, man, I really need to think about this. So I told him I need to think about this, like really quickly. So um, I decided to no guard. Um, he got heal trigger, but he didn't get any crits. I was on four damage, by the way, so like I could have died, but like I would I ended up dying anyways because the two t silent toms. Well, I could have taken one, make a perfect to fire, but I was five k short. I was I was five k short. I calculated it. I was five k short from the, from the second one because of the way the way the garbage strip works. Mm. So basically, I had to think about it like with numbers and think about my next turn in my head because I had to kill him next time I was dead. Like, but I think I overthink things, and pretty much the teammate that was playing against Owen, um, he looked at me like, "Well, why are you taking so long on your turn?" And I had my hand on my deck, wait, about to take six damage. He goes, "Yeah, okay, fine, I'll take the six damage." I was like, "Yeah, but like you're playing such a degenerate deck. Why are you being so salty that I four triggered you?" Thinking, oh, I lost the game. Yeah, you're playing OTT. You throw down Anika Kashima and you pretty much go, well, opponent can't play the game anymore. You just go, okay, what can you guard with? Can't guard this, can't guard with this, can't guard with one, can't do guard, can't do this. And it's like, okay. So I got to the point where I didn't get annoyed per se, but it's like it got, it, it would annoy any player to the point where you just can't do nothing with a deck. And I, I just don't like playing against it. And yeah, I just, my days got worse than that. Wow. I kind of recovered, but yeah, that's for your matchup anyway. And as for mine, I went against Bermuda Triangle, uh, but it wasn't one I had actually seen before. It was Coral. Yeah, um, Coral, uh, which I should have actually um, told you about. Yeah, you should have. It was my fault. Well, you you scored me on the most popular one. I was. thought I'd tell you this too. This Coral Pair was arrogant. This was the one who told oh, me. Yeah, he was. We almost all sharked me as well. He goes, oh, well, well, why are you taking so long on your turn? You, 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 you should have done something like this. I was like, hmm. Well, yeah, you were saying? Uh, I mean, yeah, I, it was uh, Coral. Um, I had never seen this deck before, um, but it... it I uh, I had I had done a little research into like every single plan that I that, that exists, um, but I, I I didn't do enough with the triangle because there's so many different so many different variants of it. Um, I had, I briefly read up on coral, but I'd forgotten most of it by the time um, they was they were just able to kind of like really rush me hard. Um, 
I uh, I, I got a couple of good solid turns in, getting him up to, I think it was like three or four damage. Um, and in the end, uh, the end game was just him slamming me with like four or five attacks. Yeah, because basically what Cole could do, every two, if every two Cole and uh, Soul gets five good power, so yeah. it's big lanes. So it doesn't matter. Mm, it doesn't matter if you hit your hounds or not because they will still come on the board anyways. Mm. And you've got like cars like, yeah, like I know like, Crooks at one and all, but huge like huge lanes, huge like, lanes. You've got like, like 40, 50, 40, 50s, 40, 50s, and they only they only defense like Ellie's and whatnot. So it's basically like an, a very aggro version of Bermuda. It's like a glass cannon version of Bermuda Triangle. Yeah, think about his off. world paladin deck. But like Bermuda yeah. had an aggro version with Cole. And that, an aggro version of Bermuda that basically he got off really, really well. He he must have been he must have just gone for Coral and just played it since it started. Because he knew every single thing to do with that. Yeah. Uh, I I I lost that one Vertex with that really hard. Oh yeah, I know. It kinda of sucks. So we're coming up to round uh, round, four, round four. Round four. And it got to the point where I started getting a bit agitated and well let's just say my game was all like, kind of wishy-washy we'll, we'll, explain, we'll explain your game first anyways so victor so um salt is a thing why could <laughs> not why could we not have tis with us for the salt fairy yeah we i needed know him here we needed tis. the salt fairy because, with us, man okay first of all uh so elaine true waifu but too waifu -y here i don't i don't like elaine here she actually killed me but also won me the game Hilarious. Yep. So basically, what happened was, is I'm like there. I'm like, I don't know what to do, is, Mister. Let's, let's just rush him down. It's fine. And when I grade three uh, rush turn, I opened up Tarn. It was fine. But what was the annoying part as I was on one damage, and that's because I kept healing my damage away. So I'm like there, and I'm like, stop! I want damage. I want kill him quicker. Yes. I, I, we I hardly saw any Victor players at this whole event. To be honest, yeah. Saw one. Yeah. yeah, I thought Vic, I thought Busted is a really good strike. I, I actually it's thought a, yeah. we would get more victories as well. Yeah. I thought we were going to get more nerves. Yeah, yeah, well. yeah. I thought because Busted is a really good strike. It's, it's better than Heritage in the fact that if you can survive the Busted turn, uh, they have like a fifteen card hand, yeah, and you can you can it's, it's an unbreakable hand with pretty much with it. Yeah, you carry yeah. on. So what I did was I went Monarch, no skill, Tana, Monarch, skill, boom, and then I played by Pack Goal and Soul uh, Soul uh, Soul Blast two. Get back my one damage, call down floor pound and flogle, and I'm like, okay, swing, he takes damage. I swing with that, he uh, he took damage, uh, drive check, nothing. Second check, bring up good luck, Epina, all on Blaster Blade, and then he's like, okay, I'm like 60k, so 60, uh, 64k, and he's like, shit, takes damage. Okay, cool, CB1, restand. He, he tried to rule shot me saying I couldn't do it because it wasn't boosting a because it wasn't boosting a blaster blade, and then I said, but it was boosting a blaster blade, but put you even wrong, it doesn't need to boost a blaster blade yeah, anyway. Yeah, exactly. So you tried to rule my heart, me, I, I don't even know. And you I just reached him, him not The guy was know. blatantly uneducated. Yeah, and then I just killed him right out. I took the victor player from two to six. <laughs> yeah, I can see some salt in that one. All right, what was yeah, my matchup? Uh, oh yeah, my matchup was Kagawa. Okay. Uh, I think mine was a bit of more of a meme game because my mindset wasn't with it after the matchups I had. I, I think I had arrogant opponents all day, to be fair. Um, so I had a, um, Kagawa, a lot of dice well as usual. Um, I can't remember who got first drive. Either, either way, he went into this first drive turn, and the way I had to do it was I think he quit me early game as well. Um, what his skill does is pretty much if I G, if I G guard or PG, it re stands. The, well, the, you know, the shield guy from the anime. Oh, um, yeah. Damjid, yeah. So he, I, he, did, he did that. Um, I, I had no choice but to. Um, I think I do guide into Citron to get myself, to be fair, because I had no choice. So he got the re stand off, he got some pressure on. Um, I had my next turn. Um, I decided to YOLO it a little bit and thought, okay, I could either go resource or the other one. Cause, and I thought, okay, I'm, his hand must be pretty weak. I'm going to have to gamble on it. And knowing what I've seen so far, I should be able to do this. So I go. Tiara, do the combo I wanted to do originally, go double Lucilli, double Layla, right, massive lanes going in, and I was like, cool, if I play this smart, I don't want to get the feet flared, so let's hope you guys at least one denial, Griffin, so I go over the first one, we got 61 with crit, um, dial Griffins, 71 with crit, denial Griffins, like a cool, Tiara swing, um, didn't get any triggers, we stood, 
PG it. And then on the turn after, he goes into Ziegenberg. I have no board, so he gets a free restand. Whoopie do, I guess. Um, proceeds to do the thing. Um, he has low low hand. He threw down a Nuda Hollum. He had a yeah. He put his force box on his vanguard. Yeah, he did, didn't he? Um, and then he went to attack with it. Um, my hand seemed a bit weird because I didn't have any like I didn't have much defense, which is really weird. Oh yeah, it's because I went hand in with Tiara. And I looked. At, I asked to look at his drop zone and solve for some strange reason and his damage zone. So I looked for him. Um, there were seven crits, and I thought to myself, oh, it's, one, it's quite hassy one eight crits and um, draw PGs. Because I saw draw PG, yeah, he won draw PGs, didn't he? Yeah, yeah. So I thought, okay, one crit left in the deck, he had like 20 card deck. Okay, and I was like, okay, I'm going to have to send a guy to this first one. Let's try and go for it. So, first drive check, he gets a crit. I look at him, I ask him, okay, how many crit triggers do you have? How, how many crit triggers do you play, mate? He goes, 10 crit, two draw, and I'm like, who does that? Kagero, you need resources. You need to like have that hand because you don't have much defense. I used to play Kagero myself. I used to play Overlord myself, so I know how it works. But this guy likes to play crits. I have a friend of mine does that as well. So like, I was like, okay, great. Now I'm gonna have to like kill out of it. Of course I, of course I don't. So I basically chanced it, looked at his triggers, thinking to myself, oh, he ain't gonna get like one crit. Finding out it was, he had three in his deck and not one. So I ended up losing that game. That was really annoying. But uh, I think at that point, I got to the point where I was like, uh, okay, I, we definitely can't do much now. And my play style was dying out. I didn't win the dice roll. I didn't win the dice roll all day, pretty much. So I couldn't get my main combos off. Because you know, if they go second, you know, if I go second, I get a massive disadvantage in Arch Trial. Because you can't do the main combos. You can't go forward on them. You can't just go skip a grade. Yeah, that's pretty much it, really. Um, what was your matchup? Uh, I actually went against another... Um Gear Chronicle player, another DTV. Um, uh, from what I, f from what we we gather, it was actually the M Call Forty variant, um, <laughs> which is, to be honest, lackluster. Um, he opens. He, he we do our usual back and forth, just doing yeah, like small point. damage. He goes into his first drive, which was Avenir. Um, kind of got me into got me into a fairly good position where I had enough enough. Uh, CB to kind of just really go off on him. I go for my turn, going to split, and I literally decimated the guy. Went took him from three to took him from two to six uh, with just one stride. It was so. In short, you decide to play the resource game, and your opponent decided to be a, more of a rush heavy game. Yeah, he he tried. You got smart, basically. Yeah, he he tried to rush me, which was a bad idea. I just like decimated his. I decimated him on my first turn, on my first drive, which was just. So, it, 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 he was, it was a lackluster deck played by a mediocre player. I mean, no, no disrespect to the guy, but he really didn't know how to play the deck. But, it, but in your defence, though, it's like we both taught you about the shenanigans you can pull on the Pulsar Pegasus turn. Yeah. Um, you can legitimately <laughs> just draw so many cards, get resources. Yeah, I, you I, get resources, I, and you pretty much just go in on your I, I, I That's what I should have more with Bermuda, to be fair. The thing is, it was my very first stride, and it was basically just a counter to him. It's like he went even here, so I went, I went split. If he'd have gone split, I'd have gone even here to, ma to maximise the pressure. Yeah, exactly. At least you thought about that. You yeah, know, yeah. <laughs> yeah, I, I, uh, I, that is one thing I actually did kind of look into is the mirror match for Gear Chronicle. Uh, for uh, for uh, for gear players, it's just like whoever goes, which if your opponent goes even here, you go split. If they go split, you go even here because that's the only way to plus off like what they're doing. Okay, round five, and guess what? I'm going to mention this here because I like to be a troll sometimes. Um, speaking of mirror matches, I beat my mirror match. He beat his mirror match, and he now has his mirror match. Yep. So what happened in your mirror match, mate? <laughs> We don't talk about it. <laughs> yeah. Okay, so basically, the guy was real nice. But I, I think this is karma and I deserve it because I've been triggering all day. You've been bragging as well. And the, yeah, I haven't been. <laughs> you but, were bragging as well. But I've been doing good all day so because of how. I, I'm bragging a little bit because these guys, they. Oh, no, said it, but Matt always used to show me, go, you're bad at this game, you're bad at this game. They always you used to be bad at this game. I had a friend of mine. He goes, "Oh, well, uh, you can't do things. You can't listen to what you're saying. You need to stop, stop tunnel visioning and actually think about what your opponent's doing while you're on your turn." Yeah. Well, Paladin, no offense to you or anything, but it's one of the most autopilot clangs in the game. So of course, yeah. yeah anyways, but so what happened was, is I went. Uh, so I 
Right. Basically, I had to. He, he started off first. I. Um, yeah, sorry, I started off first. I attack. Uh, I can't attack. He attacks. Uh, he goes. Searches off with um, Wingo Brave. It was, it was the Mean Blasters version. And I was like, okay, fine. Uh, what's his drive check? Draw trigger, draw. Okay, cool. I attack. Damage trigger, draw. Draw is a card. Okay, cool. And then he's drawing hands, so I felt to myself, okay, the only way I'm going to survive against the Mean Blaster is to basically just minus his hand. He decides to take it and uh, with my Vanguard attacks, and I drive check no triggers, and then uh, he damage checks. Uh, he damage checks. Um, uh, what was it? Damage check, crit trigger, Blaster Blade swings in. No floor power and flow was used yet. Blaster Blade swings in, gets a heal trigger, goes two. I can't hit with Blaster Blade. I have. 10k shield in hand, uh, being two 5k's, and then he just goes, calls out his entire board, uh, plays, uh, calls out his entire board uh, on Messianic, and then he just goes attack with um, Rapier, check top deck, bomb card, but he puts it at the bottom and then he goes, attack with Messianic, drive check, blast, uh, the blast friend Bark goal, I die. Pretty much, so yeah. lucky as well. The, 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 the damage triggers literally saved him the game. We had a friendly, destroyed him. Yeah, that's so cool, man. Yeah. So it's like my game, I played against a Spikes player, and it's pretty much karma for what happened last time of the last BCS I went to, as I lost with the Connolly and whatnot. I don't play Connolly this time around. Um, so I knew what to do. It was pretty much Glass Cannon deck, so I pretty much started the game with Lisa 